Hi YouTube, I'm coming with you today with a big cleaning fail. Um, I got this vintage Noe, um, I have the strap off of it right now, but um, I got it on eBay almost a year ago and some of the leather was, some of the vachetta was really dirty so I thought I would try cleaning it. You know there are a bazillion cleaning videos on YouTube about this and I decided to go with the Mr. Clean Magic Eraser and oops, with um, the Cadillac uh, Leather Lotion and I've seen this recommended especially um, on the Louis Vuitton Addicted Facebook group and if you're not on there you should be on there it's a fantastic group I've learned so much from them um, so after watching many videos, and you know, there are people, the information is sort of contradictory sometimes, and people have all kinds of different methods, and um, anyway, I decided to start with a Mr. Clean eraser, and I took that and cut the eraser, let me show you one of them, I mean, you've seen these, but, um, so here's the full size eraser, and then I cut it into these little cubes. Um, what I found when I started working with it is you dip it in just a tiny bit of water and then you squeeze it out really good and get as much water out as you can. And then you um, wipe it on the machete. And generally you just go in one direction. That's what people said. And you make sure you get everything. You get all the machete so you don't have like water spots and things. Um, so I did that and you notice pretty quickly that these start turning orange, which is the color of the older Vachetta. Um, and they start to crumble and break apart after you use them. So that's why I cut it into the little squares and I did, or cubes, and I did find that helpful. And I cleaned it and then I let it dry overnight, which is what everybody that I saw said to do. And it looks so much better. I saw this big improvement, but then I still saw some dirt, so I thought, um, I'm going to clean it again. But I let it dry for several days before I got to the second cleaning. So I cleaned it twice, let it dry for several days, and then eventually I went back over it with the leather lotion. Now, the, the from Cadillac, which is a great product. I have no complaints about that one. And I don't have complaints about the magic eraser either. It's just the process that I did. I ended up damaging my bag. So I noticed after the second cleaning, when I uh, before I did the leather lotion, for the second time I used the magic eraser, let me find where this is, that um, I cracked the vachetta. So you can see here, there's a big crack here that goes all the way from end to end. And then there are some smaller ones. And then around the edges, let me show you, like, here's some. Um, hold on. Right there. So you see that cracking? And, yeah. So that was not there before. Um, let me turn this around. It's a little hard to see against the window to that side of me. So yeah, that, that was the leather cracking. There's there's that that I just showed you. And then the the big cracks on this side. So and it didn't crack on the other side. The other side looks good. Well, there is some, I guess, but it's pretty minimal compared to what happened on the other side. But I mean the bottom is really clean and I didn't do before and after photos or before video because I wasn't really planning to do a video on this. But once I damaged it, I wanted to tell you guys about it so you don't make the same mistake. So anyway, what I think I figured out, because after I noticed this cracking, um, I went back and watched some more videos and, and talked to people on the Facebook group, uh, Louis Vuitton Addicted. And I found out that what I should have done is condition it before I cleaned it the first time, which I didn't do. So what happened is I used the eraser and um, when it dried, I, this is my my thoughts on what happened, the evaporation, evaporation pulled out too much moisture and that dried the leather out and cracked it. 
I doubt this bag had ever been cleaned before. It didn't look like that to me. Um, oh, well, let me show you on the handle, too, because there was some cracking there. Um, and I wanted to show you how clean some parts of the handle are, too. I did see a little bit of cracking. Where is it? That's my bird in the background. If you heard her, she just said, hello, Ginger, which is my mom's German Shepherd. Well, now I'm not seeing the cracking, but I know that it's there. I saw it the other day. Um, anyway, since I have it out, let me show you um, here. You can see like how light this part of the machete is. And then the part that gets touched the most, um, that's much cleaner than it used to be. And now I wish I had the... Um, you can tell the, the difference there between the very light part, which was covered up and doesn't see a lot of air um, compared to the part that's touched the most. But I, I am really impressed with how clean it got, and I really love how it looks now. It's Other than these parts that haven't been exposed to air so much or light, um, it's a very even color, and it looks great other than the cracking, which is real damage. Now, luckily, there was no cracking on the canvas, so I could have that replaced, but why would I spend that much on a bag that I got um, for so cheap? So I plan to just use it as it is. Um, anyway, so I wanted to tell you about this so that you could have a little bit of information that might help if you're thinking about cleaning your bags so that you make sure you condition before you clean, and hopefully that would prevent the cracking in the machete. Um, I think especially after cleaning mine twice and letting it dry so long, it just sucked so much moisture out of the leather, and that's what made it crack. Since then, I conditioned it again about two days ago, and it feels so much better, because especially the part, um, the, the side strap here, this felt so dry to the touch, and it feels more moist now. And I'm going to go over it one more time before I put her back in a dust bag. But um, that's it, and I hope that helps somebody, and I will see you next time. Thanks for watching. Um, please hit the subscribe button and the like button if you found this helpful and want to see more. And if you have any questions, I'm no expert on cleaning bags or anything, but if you have any questions, you can feel free to ask in the comments below. And I always um, answer people. So, all right. Thanks for watching. Bye, guys.